voice. Did you know? Come on, grab it. Got it. Have I got it? Yep. Oh, I dropped it. Mate, little gatekeeper to that little back pond. <sighs> oh, he's still there. He wants it pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, he's got it again. Yes! It's <laughs> a good fish, too. <laughs> Oh, brilliant stuff. Man, that was so loose. If we drift back, I want to drift back there and show you this spot because it's like a tiny little back pond of like a couple of square metres. So often they just sit in those little gates, the little channels that come out. Oh, he's a beauty. He was so keen. Oh, man. Have a look at this beauty. Like a golden green colour, eh? Come here, buddy. Oh, beautiful stuff. He was so keen, this fish, and came from deep in these reeds. He was sitting in a back pond and I was teabagging it actually. It's like, got caught over the tops of the reeds and this thing just came up, busted it twice and then I, I misfired the cast. I missed it by a couple of meters. But I saw him sort of just scream across and then just bust on it, eh? Oh, they are just insane fun. This time of year, just using top water lures. And I'm gonna take you through some of the tactics now because um, I haven't just been fishing this finesse frogs this morning. I've been trying to cover lots of ground, but with my kayak, I don't want to keep changing sides to the creek all the time, and I'm coming through just different sections of cover. But this little finesse frogs has just gone mental fishing along some of this grassy stuff. And the reason is you can fire it right in against, like in deep into these sections of, of weeds where the, where the bass are just sitting and feeding and even just parked up there trying to get out of the main current and hide with a vantage point. But the other lure that I've been fishing with is this prop frog by Lunker Hunt. And this thing is a much bigger profile. You can see it, it's a soft topwater frog, but it's got these prop legs on the back that just spin independent of each other. And I've rigged it with this stinger on the back. And this thing's just had some crazy blow ups, eh? It's a bigger profile, but you can fish this against heavier cover and the steeper banks I've been hitting, I've been sitting this thing in along the cover. The little finesse frogs is way more effective on the move, but um, the sections where I've come up to like big heavy timber and that sort of thing where I've had to be able to just sit a lure there and try and get that bite, these Lunker Hunt prop frogs are awesome for that. Their, their sit, sit at rest is like that and those little legs, they keep moving while it's in the water. And I think all of that, with their, with their action, when you move it, their pr those props are going nuts and it's got a real shudder to it like that, like da -da 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 -da, through the water. I reckon they can't stand it, eh? And they just smash these things. So it's definitely worthwhile to run two frogs, not just the one. And if you've got a soft skipping like a finesse frogs and then a big us, a, like a bigger frog pattern that you can just sit and stall there that's got a great uh, presence at rest, that's the way to go. Man, it's been nuts this morning. I'm gonna keep going. Because the bite's sort of starting to slow. The, the, the sun's getting higher in the air. But I'll show you this little pond, eh? Come in here, have a look at this. There's little water hens and stuff in there. It's just, there's lots happening in there. And it was just in here, eh? Just in there. And there's a little bit of water you might be able to see just through there. All really shallow, but it doesn't matter because there's like surface cover and brush piles of the, of the reeds that are lying down over the top of about maybe four or five inches of water. And the bass are even just sitting in under that. Awesome stuff.
the prop frog down because there's like a root curtain along here that I'm wanting to fish and I can get in there way better with this little finesse frogs just skipping her in and when it's like that the bass love to feed in behind all the roots just as a vantage point so hopefully I can show you what I mean I can skip it right up in underneath that bank roll it out and I'll just push that hook down again because it's sort of sometimes I'll try and cheat when it's a bit more open cover and just lift that hook out for a better hook up rate but that's the sort of cast that'll do it come on come on just trying to get in underneath that curtain there it's shooting right up into that clay bank fish way bigger jeez with the crossfires but he's been watching this lure eh he's been watching this lure for like the last 10-15 minutes I'm glad I was too because I would have the last thing I want to do is hook an eagle he's all over this frog all right well that pretty much does it for the combo frog session sun's got pretty high in the sky now and um, I reckon I'm just going to call it but if you've got a combo lure set up that you love to run I'd love to hear it in the section below make sure you put a comment down of what you like to run early morning chasing bass or whatever it might be these finesse frogs are super effective and um, I've been fishing with them for a couple of years now I've captured some amazing footage over the years if you haven't seen my earlier videos on fishing them around grasses or how to fish them around heavy structure or overhanging timber Make sure you check those out, those earlier videos. There's heaps of tips in there on how to get about and do it. And uh, I've got a video on this prop frog as well, which goes through chasing bass and how I like to fish this in a bit more detail too. So if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new or if you're just watching these for the first time. I've got heaps more coming. I've got some great jack stuff coming up in the next few weeks. And I'm hoping to get out offshore on my ski. Once this water heats up, with a few more subtleties hopefully, I'm going to get out offshore and chase some big fish. So there's plenty more coming, lots of lure reviews in store, and uh, it's going to be an exciting season I'm sure, so make sure you stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.